Welcome back to my channel IMDb8 Recap. Today I'm going to explain the crime and drama movie Monica, Oh My Darling, released in the year 2022. The movie is about a robotic genius who becomes the victim of a conspiracy around the robot which he has designed and created. Can he get himself out of this quagmire? But before we begin to tell you the story, please subscribe to our channel, as we really need your support to grow and keep making these amazing recaps. Thanks, from the team of the IMDb8 Recap if you have subscribed, and beware of the spoilers. The film begins in a tech factory, where we see a guy called Garov looking at the pictures of a girl Shalu on his phone. In the same scene, we see his friend Dev Prakash arrives to the factory to get few files, he sees Garov and tells him that he proposed to Shalu today, and she said yes. Garov is enraged by this because he loves Shalu even though it seems to be a one-sided affair. As a result of his rage, he switches the robot to manual mode and twists Dev's neck thereby killing him in cold blood. In the following scene, we see that the company that Garov works for is Unicorn Tech and they are celebrating their 50th anniversary. The function is held at which the company's owner, Sakinari Yanadikari, guarantees that the robots made by his company are 100% safe. Meanwhile, one of the former disgruntled employee Farty Beg stands up and asks why was he fired from the company in Dev's death case if the robots are claimed to be safe. Farty on asking these questions is lead outside the function. Sakinari Yan, the CEO is scheduled to announce the name which would be an addition to company's board of directors. Nishikant Adhikari, Tamang Rana, and Arvind Manivanan are certain that their names will be taken, but Satyanarayan Yan announces the name of Jayant Arkidkar instead. Jayant had recently joined the company, and Satyanarayan Yan sees his company's future in him. Jayant on the other hand is indeed a robotic genius, which is why Satyanarayan Yan has arranged for his daughter Nikki Adhikaris to marry Jayant. This has displeased many of the other officials of the company. Scene changes and we see another employee Monica Machado performing at the same function. The following day, we see Monica and Jayant together. Monica informs Jayant that she is pregnant with his child. When he hears this, he becomes enraged and informs her that he cannot marry her. Monica claims that she will raise the child alone and has no objections to Jayant marrying Nikki. Monica requires only the funds to raise her child. However, nothing seems right to Jayant. At the office, Satyanarayan shows Jayant his new office. Jayant's sister, Shalu seems to also work in the same office, and she decorates his new office and keeps all of his essentials. Jayant receives an envelope containing photographs of him with Monica as well as a letter instructing him to contact the given address if he wishes to keep this a secret. Jayant arrives at the hotel late at night, where Nishikant and Arvind are present. Nishikant expresses his dislike for Jayant, but he did not invite Jayant here for that reason. However, Nishikant and Arvind, like him, are caught in Monica's web. 